you happening today. San Diego honors local World War II hero Stu Headley. Fox 5's Jacqueline Sarkeesian live at the USS Midway Museum with the ceremony happening this morning. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, good morning to both of you. So the celebration of life for Stu Headley starts at 9 o'clock this morning. And Charlie Roll, they are expecting such a large turnout. First set up chairs for about 200 people. Then the USS Midway says, hey, we might need to set up more. They went to 400 and now 600. David Koontz with the USS Midway Museum joining me right now. That's correct, right? You started at 200 and now you're up at 600 seats. We do. We had, we just, we're getting so many calls of people wanting to come and, and pay tribute and, and celebrate Stu's life. We're like, oh my goodness, we better put out some more chairs. So we don't know if we'll get to 600, but we're ready in case we do. And it's just so fitting for a man who, who, who wasn't just a, a Pearl Harbor survivor and a, a World War II hero, but he was also a, a, just an incredible community icon. And for the last four decades, wanted to make sure that everybody, and he, and by his own count, thinks he spoke to probably close to 200,000 people. He was not going to let people forget about the courage that was shown at Pearl Harbor, you know, back in 1941 and wanted to make sure that America uh, and anybody in America would hear what he had to say. And he was just such a, such a special person, uh, such an engaging person uh, for, for little kids, people of his own age. Yeah, and all, he, all, everyone. Everybody. He did. I mean, whenever, whenever you were somewhere with Stu, everybody just was attracted to him. And he just wanted to make sure that America stayed strong. And he wanted to make sure kids stayed in school. And he wanted to make sure that, that, that America didn't forget uh, what happened at Pearl Harbor in 1941. Now, would you say that's somewhat unusual? Because you hear stories, you know, veterans, they often don't want to talk about what they experienced. Here we have Stu Headley spending 40 years right. talking about what happened. Somewhat unusual, right? Yeah, there was a lot of the, the, the soldiers and sailors and airmen and uh, from World War II and even from later wars that really didn't speak a whole lot about what they experienced. Uh, but Stu didn't necessarily want to speak about exactly what happened to him because he never considered himself a hero. There were always other people that were heroes. What did he what he wanted to talk about was, you know, war is not a good thing and that we should all be kind to each other. That way we won't fight with each other. Uh, but he wanted to make sure that America yeah, stayed alert two, and a good way for him to do that was to reflect upon what happened uh, at Pearl Harbor on December 7th. Now, David, what can we expect with this celebration of life that is? You you know you guys are setting up right now what can people expect yeah we really wanted to make this a special day for Stu because if there's anybody that deserved it was him so we're really fortunate we have the mayor of San Diego's coming to speak we have the Navy mayor uh, Rear Rebel Barnett will be here uh, we're gonna have a uh, nine gun salute so we're pulling out all the military honors that, that somebody like Stu is due and we're gonna finish it off uh, with a missing man flyover um, to, to just just that one final salute for Stu yes and you guys will notice I'm not sure if we can pan around or if anyone nearby you can see but there's a lot of people in Hawaiian shirts dresses or just some type of Hawaiian print because Sue Headley he was known he always had something Hawaiian on he did he always wore his Hawaiian lei and in fact uh, instead of instead of having the traditional wreath laying ceremony we're gonna have a lei laying ceremony and his his uh, his daughter and her family will be doing that so uh, we're, we're really trying to to make sure that you know Stu didn't want people to forget those who who fought and served and sacrificed at Pearl Harbor and we don't want people to forget Stu well, definitely going to be a very emotional service, I would imagine, but also extremely special and a great, great way to honor Stu Headley. The ceremony officially starts at 9 o'clock this morning, and it is open to the public. Now I'm going to send it back to both of you in the studio.